In this video, I'll be walking you through how to use Sharesies in 2024. If you're a beginner or seasoned user, this video will be useful for getting the most out of the platform. Sharesies is New Zealand's leading investment platform with over 600,000 active users. Their entire ethos is to give everybody, whether you've got $5 or $5 million, the same investment opportunities to grow your wealth through the stock market. The look of the platform is constantly changing as Sharesies adds new features. Since my last video, Sharesies has added KiwiSaver, car insurance, savings accounts, and a raft of other services. So stay tuned and let's get into it. If you're new to Sharesies, you'll first need to sign up. Head over to the Sharesies website and click on the sign up button at the top right of the screen. You'll see two options appear. Right now, only those living in New Zealand and Australia can sign up. I'll click New Zealand to demonstrate. Then key in your email address, create a password, key in your phone number and a preferred name. If you know someone using Sharesies, ask them for their promo code. I've provided mine down below and in the video description, which will give you $5 to get started. It also gives me $5 too, so thanks to those who use the code to support the channel. Read the terms and conditions and then select the checkbox and then press next. You'll then select a form of ID that confirms to Sharesies who you are. I won't go any further here, but once you put in those details, Sharesies will confirm them and open your account. From there, you can start using the platform. So here is the home screen, which you'll see when you open the Sharesies investment portal. At the top of the screen, the dollar represents the estimated total amount of money that you have in Sharesies. Here, I have $1,341. Below that, you'll see the cash balance. In my case, I have $10 sitting with Sharesies waiting to be invested. Under the cash balance, you'll see investments. This is the value of all of the shares and funds that I've bought through Sharesies. To the right of that is my investment return. In my settings, I've asked this to only show my return on my current owned investments. So here, I've made about $300 off of $1,000 that I put in. Sharesies offer more than just shares. They also have savings accounts offering a lucrative 4.6% interest rate at the moment. If I add together my investments, save, and wallet balances, it adds up to the estimated total balance up at the top of the screen. Now, below that are a range of quick action options, which we'll get into later. Let's now check out where we can see our investments. By clicking investments, we are brought through to the screen. At the center of the page, we have a big chart. This shows us how our portfolio has changed over time. As you can see, I had $80,000 invested in Sharesies in late 2021. I sold out of my investments to buy my house in early 2022. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below and check out my first home buyer videos. I talk about my first home, how I saved my deposit, the best government support, and many other topics that I wish someone told me before buying my first home. Back to the chart, if I use a shorter time span, the dotted line shows the amount that I've put in, while the pink line represents the amount I've put in and the returns I've earned on top. We can also see the breakdown of what I've invested in, which is important to ensure my portfolio has good diversification. Basically, that we're not putting all of our eggs in one basket. We can show the screen in percent or dollar amounts. As you can see, my portfolio here is roughly 50% companies and 50% ETFs, which are funds they hold various companies' stock. Let's now go back to our investments. Below the chart, we can see that I've roughly put in about $1,000 into Sharesies. After investing this for a little while, the value of these investments has gone up by about $350, giving a 34% return. When you add it up, the portfolio is worth around $1,350. Below this, you'll also see our wallet balance again. And below that again, you'll see a very new feature of Sharesies that came out on Tuesday the 23rd of July. This is called AI Search. If we click on this button, you can then search for themes, topics, or select from their pre-prepared options below. If I click on investing in electric vehicles, for example, it pops up with a brief overview of the industry and a list of companies involved in electric vehicles. Of particular note is the fact that they write a brief explanation of how the companies are involved in that industry. Tesla, for example, of course manufactures electric vehicles or well, ChargePoint provides the EV charger network. There is also a range of ETF options, as well as some local companies that have indirect exposure. So this is a neat new tool to look for stock investment options. Heading back and scrolling down, 
we can see all of the investments that I've made. Each square represents one of these investments, such as Apple stock, Fletcher Building, and Royal Caribbean. At the top, I can use a filter. By country, I can isolate New Zealand, Australia, and United States stocks. I can also do this by risk and the type of the investment. This is useful if you have lots of investments. You can also sort the list. You can do this by the investment returns or the size of your investment. Picking size, you can see my biggest investment is the S&P 500 ETF. To explore one of these investments in greater detail, you can simply click on the square. To demonstrate, I'll use Apple. At the top of the page, you'll see the logo, the company name, and the stock ticker of AAPL and the exchange it is listed on, in this case, NASDAQ. You'll also see the stock price of $223 US per share for Apple stock. If you want to receive an email if the price goes up or down, you can click this button here. At the top right of the screen is a star, which puts the stock on your watch list, which we'll see shortly. As we scroll down, we can expand the company description, some keywords related to the company, and a price chart. The pink line shows the stock price for Apple, and the dots represent when we bought or sold some of the stock. We can also change the time horizon. Below the chart, we can see the lowest and the highest stock price for the time horizon selected and the amount the price has moved over that period. We also have some investment data, such as the dividend yield. And if we click on that, we can see the past dividend history. If we exit that screen, we have the PE ratio and the market cap. If you click on these, you'll see a detailed breakdown of what each number means. At the bottom of the page is the risk information and the fees for buying or selling shares in Apple. Let's take a breather here and talk about Sharesy's fees as it's important for any beginner. Starting an account with Sharesy's is free, but as you start to invest greater amounts, Sharesy's plans start to become more economical. So if you are just starting out with a few hundred bucks, the casual plan or pay as you go is a good option. Every time you buy or sell some shares, there is a 1.9% fee. For example, if you have $100 to invest, Sharesy's will charge you $1.90 for buying the shares. If your investments are really good and their price goes from $100 up to $200, if you were to sell, Sharesies would charge the 1.9% on the $200 or $3.80. Now, if you trade larger amounts in one go, this 1.9% fee is capped at the amounts you can see here shown on the screen. For example, if you are buying shares from the United States, such as Tesla and Apple, you'd spend US dollars. To hit this cap, you'd need to spend roughly 264 US dollars. So if you invested 1000 US dollars in one single go, you'd pay the same as somebody investing just 264. Australian shares sold in Australian dollars would be 790 Australian dollars. And in New Zealand, this would be $1,316. I suspect that this is the case because Sharesies is the only low-cost broker dealing in New Zealand stocks, while several other brokers deal in Australian shares and an even greater number sell American shares. So fees can definitely start to add up under this plan. To solve this, Sharesies develop a subscription model at different pricing points being $3 a month $7 and $15. Here you can see the features of each plan compared. The $3 plan caters to those that invest a few hundred dollars every single month. The $7 plan on the other hand caters to those spending about a thousand dollars a month and the $15 plan for about $5,000 a month. Auto invest privileges here are a bit higher, which is where you're able to set and forget your investing every single week. But we'll get into that a bit later. So now we're back to looking at Apple. We have another tab here where we can see our relationship to Apple under the tab, your investment. You can see that I put about $70 into Apple and have earned a return of $26. This is a return of 36% giving me an investment value of roughly $96. As you can see above, Apple shares currently sell for $223. Sharesies offer investors the ability to buy partial shares. So in my portfolio, I own just 42% of a single share. This is what makes Sharesies so great for smaller investors as you don't need thousands of dollars to get started. The chart below shows a gray line representing the money that I've invested. And the pink line shows the money invested plus the gains that I've made. Below that is some other investing information as we saw on the other tab. 
and a record of our transactions in Apple stock. Market buy shows us when we've bought Apple stock. Dividends is when Apple has paid profits out to shareholders like us. And if you see a market sell, that is when we've sold shares in Apple. So that's the administrative screens. Let's now buy some Apple stock. Clicking the buy button at the bottom of the screen, we have a couple of options. Clicking market buy, here we just tell Sharesies the amount we wish to invest. You'll remember that we had about 10 New Zealand dollars in our Sharesies wallet. At the bottom of the screen, Sharesies has automatically converted that into US dollars, so we can buy Apple shares, which are sold in the United States. The $10 converted is worth about $5.93 in US dollars. So here, I'll type 2 US dollars, then review, and see my investment information. After accounting for the 1.9% fee, Sharesies will invest just $1.96 of the $2 and pocket the rest as fees. In addition to the fees that we covered earlier, Sharesies also charge a currency conversion fee of 0.5%. If we convert 1,000 New Zealand dollars, Sharesies takes roughly $5 as a fee to convert the funds. Once we're happy with the order, we click buy. Another option we have to purchase shares in Apple is to use limit buy. This is where we tell Sharesies the price we'd like to pay for Apple stock. For example, if $223 is too much for us and we'd only like to buy shares in Apple if the price goes down to $200, we can do that here. Just note, for a limit buy, we can only do this with whole shares and we can't buy partial shares. And then our final option available to purchase shares in Apple is advanced and allows you to set a price to buy that is higher than the current price. Now it sounds odd, why would I want to pay a higher price than what it's currently trading at? However, some investors do this to catch stocks with momentum. In other words, the stock is going up and they don't want to miss out on the action. Now with buying out of the way, let's now look at selling. We have the same options as buying here, but in the opposite. Market sell allows us to sell Apple shares at whatever the price is on the market when our trade goes through. For example, if I select 0.2 here, Sharesies will sell those shares at whatever price the market offers. We can also see the associated fees listed here. Once we are happy with our selection, we hit sell. Hitting back, we also have another option called limit sell, where we disclose the price that we'd be willing to sell at. Generally, this will be higher than where the price currently sits. However, Again, you must have at least one whole share to do this. And if we head back, we again have an advanced option, which is called stop loss. This is where you specify a price that is lower than where the price sits now, at which you'd like Sharesies to execute a sale. If the market is falling and you want to limit your losses, a stop loss allows you to set this value. So it can be a great tool for risk mitigation. So those are our options when we buy and sell on Sharesies. Now, Apple was a stock that I already owned. But if you wanted to research other investments, you can select the explore option on the left-hand column of the screen. Our first option here is to search. For example, I might want to locate Amazon stock which you can see here. Alternatively, the filter option allows us to screen all 8,000 investment options available through Sharesies. We can select whether we want a company, an ETF, or a managed fund. Second, we have the keywords or industry. Third, we have the exchange, either New Zealand, Australia, or one of the US exchanges, such as New York or NASDAQ. And finally, we have the risk level. If we head back to the top of the screen, I want to select a company that is in the banking sector. Choosing this, I get over 1,000 potential investment options. From here, you can sort the list, research each option by clicking on them, and invest as you wish. Heading back, we can see that Sharesies has given us a few popular filters and the option to see the most popular investments by other Sharesies investors that week. Scrolling down, there's a listing of all the things that we can do through Sharesies. We've already covered invest, but let's take a look at the others. Save allows us to create a savings account for a specific goal. For example, if I'm saving for a house deposit, I can select the option below or type in my own name. Clicking next, I can move money from my Sharesies wallet into the house deposit savings account. This is similar to my internet banking. You can then click review and then confirm. Those funds will then start earning 4.6% in interest per year. The next option we have is KiwiSaver. A little while ago, Sharesies started offering KiwiSaver to their users. This allows you to manage your KiwiSaver from their website 
and with a lot more flexibility than what traditional fund managers offer. In some cases, you could even invest your KiwiSaver funds into specific companies, which is a great advantage over the traditional fund managers if you want to DIY your KiwiSaver. So to do that, you can apply through their website. Another option you have is a kids account. You can manage a savings account for your children through Sharesies. You can invest in shares on their behalf and have the investments grow over time. The $3 a month standard plan is reduced to just $1 a month for kids' accounts. So this can be a great way to save up those college funds. And finally, we have Insure, which is a new feature for Sharesies. Basically, they work with a company called Cove to offer comprehensive car insurance. I personally have my insurance through Cove, and they've been pretty good to work with. Through the Sharesies website, you can then put in your details and get an instant quote, which is pretty neat. So those are the main services offered by Sharesies. Below that, in the Explore screen, we have Auto Invest. This is a set and forget option where you can tell Sharesies to invest a certain an amount every so often into a collection of shares and funds of your choosing. They have some pre-prepared options here or you can pick your own. Let's add a few options here and click select. We then select the percentage of the amount we wish to invest into each stock. So I'll just key in numbers adding up to 100% here. In the next screen you can specify the amount you wish to invest how often and when you want it to start. Clicking next, you can edit the name and the image of the auto invest option and then review on the final screen. Once confirmed, you just need to make sure that you have enough money in your Sharesies wallet so the order goes through each time. Heading all the way back through the screens, one of the final options we have under explore is auto invest dividends. This allows us to tell Sharesies what to do with the dividends we get paid from our investments. By selecting this option, we can then specify what investments we hold that we want to do this for. Whenever we earn a dividend, it goes straight back into buying more shares. Through this feature, whenever we earn a dividend, it goes straight back into buying more shares. You'll also see a dividend reinvestment plan listed below this. Some companies offer this directly, which often comes with preferential terms, such as no transaction fees, a better dividend, that kind of thing. In this case, I've told Sharesies I want Infratil to pay my dividends in shares and not cash. Whereas with the top option on the screen, the companies pay the dividends as cash, but Sharesies will then take the cash and buy shares with it. It's a slight difference, but a dividend reinvestment plan generally works out better. Heading back once more, we can find our stock watch list at the bottom of the page. We can also see our recently viewed stocks. The next screen that we'll take a look at is Wallet. Here we can see the money that is sitting around in our Sharesies account, doing essentially nothing. Right now, I have 10 New Zealand dollars and nothing in Australian or US dollars. If I wanted to exchange money between these in my wallet, I can do that here. Simply select the currency you wish to change from and the currency you wish to change to. Under that, we have the top up wallet option. To get money into your Sharesies wallet, you have three options. First, you can use a debit card or a credit card. A word of warning, this comes with a hefty fee. The second option we have is to do an instant bank transfer. Through Blink Pay, you can instantly top up your Sharesies account from BNZ and Westpac. It's convenient, however, there is a $1 fee for doing so. The third and the cheapest option is a normal bank transfer. It can often take a few hours to go through or days if it's a weekend or public holiday. Simply go into your internet banking, key in these details, most important of all is the bank account and the reference and send the funds across. What I would generally do is I would send a dollar first to make sure that all my details are loaded correctly. Once that amount has ended up in the account, I know I've done it right. So that's nice and easy. The next option on that screen is to redeem a gift card. Here they've given you a place where you can put your code. Under that, we have money goal. If you need motivation to put money into your account and invest it, this can be a useful tool. Under money goal, we have transfer. This works a bit like internet banking, allowing you to move money into and out of your savings and wallet accounts within Sharesies. And finally, we have the withdraw option. If you want to take money out of your Sharesies account, this is where you'll do it. Below all of that, you can also see a transaction history of how your balance has either increased or decreased over time. So that rounds out the main features of using the Sharesies investment platform in 2024. 
Under Share the Aroha, you can buy gift cards or produce a referral code. Under Settings, you can configure your account to be just the way you like it. You can edit your pricing plan to one of the options that we covered earlier. You can also activate two-factor authentication and get in contact with Sharesies. Learn the basics is a good option within the portal if you're new to Sharesies and want to learn some of the investment lingo. Over 600,000 people have joined Sharesies, so they have an excellent grasp on the things that beginner investors would want to know before investing their hard-earned money. Sharesies is certainly no small company now, with nearly half a billion dollars being invested through the website in June 2024 alone. This is only set to increase as more people join and company stocks become more valuable. If you like the look of the Sharesies platform, you can sign up using my promo code shown down below during sign up. This will give you $5 to start using the platform and a further $5 back to support the channel. If you're new to my channel, I post a lot of content in the personal finance and investing space. Please make sure to subscribe down below to see more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.